Okay. <gasps> Hiya. <laughs> Hello, today we are gonna do my winter wardrobe edit. We are well into winter right now. I would also just like to apologize personally for the drilling you can hear. My neighbors have just started drilling, but I don't have another opportunity to film this video and I'd rather get it out and have quiet but noticeable drilling in the background. So please bear with. Do you like my new mug by the way? H&M Home, very pleased with it. Hello, this is Lucy from The Future here. I'm just finishing up the video. I realized I hadn't asked you to subscribe. So if you're new around here and you're enjoying the videos, please hit subscribe. It makes such a difference. Thank you so much. So the order of service is first of all, we're going to pull out the drawer under my bed and have a rummage, see if there's anything particularly wintry we can pull out. And then once we've got everything out, we're gonna get everything out of my wardrobe, which is this lovely thing here and then organize it all, put away the things that are definitely spring, and then keep out anything that is still winter, still very cozy. Because at the moment, the weather just, you know, it is overcast most days. It is gray, like gray, gray. And I would say temperature is between 10 degrees and like zero degrees. It's been quite a warm winter. I say warm, zero degrees is not warm. Okay. Let's get this drawer out. I'm having an actual coffee today. I was a bit sad. I listened to Halsey's album this morning and I'm gonna listen to Max's album tonight. And I just, I'm just a bit emotional today. So if you've seen these before, you know how this works. But this drawer basically has all the clothes that I keep for summer, anything that's kind of in storage and also anything that's like nostalgic or, or a piece of clothing that like I wouldn't naturally throw away. Okay, already I can see this is mainly summer. Ooh. I might bring this on my trip, so I'm going to the coldest place on earth, aka the Alps, in two days. I'm quite stressed about it because I've never been skiing before and I'm scared. But this jumpsuit, I got this while I was in uni and I actually love it so much. Um, it's this velvet with this really small flower print in this kind of maroon purple, I would say like a deep purple colour. And I wear like polo necks, like tight polo necks underneath it and it looks so cute in the evenings. And you know what? I do actually need evening outfits. So that's coming with me. You can't really wear velvet any other time but winter in my opinion. Oh, this is genius. Okay, great. This is coming out. This is from Pretty Little Thing a couple of years ago. It's this super stretchy, glittery top. It's got a little bit of diamante. I love stuff that's a little bit kitsch and this would actually be really good on my trip because while it is cropped, it's good to have like an evening top with a really thick jumper over it for when you go out, apparently. I'll report back because this whole thing has been a minefield for me. Okay, I found another high neck blue jumper that I completely forgot I owned, which is kind of sad because I just went and bought another navy blue jumper. Not normally my style to have two of exactly the same thing, but I'll keep it back in here, keep it in good condition. I think all this is still summer stuff. These are all summer t-shirts. Okay, that's it for under this bed. I've just pulled out that glittery top and the velvet jumpsuit. I think that's pretty much everything that is gonna be pulled out of here. I imagine more stuff is gonna go in. <sighs> Hello, pals. Now we've done that, I am going to get in the wardrobes. Not in, literally. See you in a minute. Hello, welcome to my wardrobe. Let's open this up. So if you've been here before, you know how it works. But in this wardrobe, it's just coats. There's nothing in here that is um, like gonna be sorted today. And then in these two is the other stuff. Right then, let's get going. Hey, might not be the best angle, but. To start with, the first thing that I can see are these lovely little tops that I wore throughout summer and autumn. They're so cute, but it can't stay in right now. When will I be wearing this in winter? This guy's a hard one because it is inherently very summery, but I do wear it all the time still. It's just so, so cute and practical. Yeah, I just don't think you're a winter top, are you? Again, do we keep this out? This is just so summery to me. I just don't get anywhere out of in this weather. Oh my God, this is staying cute. A cute black t-shirt, this can stay. Something I would love to get more aware of is this silk shirt from And of the Stories. I still have the little um, tag in it. I don't know why I've never cut it out. I've worn it loads, but it's this kind of cream silk shirt. I haven't kept it all that well because I didn't know how to look after silk when I first got it but I need to start wearing more shirts because I love wearing shirts. I'm 100% sticking with this top. This top is my going out top. It's a wrap top, you can kind of see. It's from Topshop. I wish they re-released this this winter. I looked online. I don't really shop in Topshop anymore, but oh my goodness, I was so keen for another one of these. A new item, kind of. I bought this in LA because I didn't have a top that would go with my outfit for an evening event and it's the Zara bodysuits as made famous by Rosie Huntington-Whiteley aka my number one style inspiration at the moment. 
They're so good. They are honestly really, really good. They're made of this scuba-esque material. You could get them in a bunch of colors. I know they're still selling them and they're so flattering, even on me who has tiny boobs and big arms. To clarify when I say flattering, it makes me feel okay in the bits that I'm insecure about. Everyone's got different things they're insecure about and I think that's totally fair to dress how you feel comfortable and I want to feel comfortable in everything and I hope you feel comfortable in everything because you're fucking gorgeous. So yeah, I would recommend these bodysuits to anyone and everyone. Just so you know, these t-shirts are staying in here. I'm keeping this one in even though my boyfriend once told me it makes me look like a school teacher and it stresses me out a bit. But this one here is lovely. This one is, I need to wear it more. <laughs> Things that are definitely, definitely staying in. These are like my winter uniform is high necks and polo necks and general vests. These are my absolute staples. I particularly love this waffle knit one I got from Everlane a couple of months ago now. It has been worn and worn and worn, I love it. And it is not falling apart. I would like to emphasize, when you spend money on quality basics, they don't go gross. Or they don't go gross nearly as fast. Now onto the oversized shirts. Can you tell I organize my wardrobe from smallest top to biggest top? So we have three oversized shirts. One of them is from Arquette. It is a satin shirt, no silk in fact, it's a silk shirt. Um, with this tiny leopard print on it and I wear it in the evenings. I think it's such a great like extra layer um, It's a little bit vampire -y for me to wear it just by itself, but I I love it like it's so good I also have a matching trouser with it. So it's like a loungewear set So if I want to be wearing pajamas, but I have to go to an evening thing It is my number one then this thrifted corduroy shirt I kind of wish I hadn't bought this in hindsight because they picked the label off It's clearly something like Primark and then the sleeve is really ripped on this side I don't know if you can see that and it just isn't very good quality. I still wear it, but I am kind of like regretful <laughs> that I bought it. And I think I'll keep it in there for winter to add extra layers. But to be honest, it's way more of an autumn thing for me. And then finally is this new shirt, which I picked up from Yes Style. I was kindly given a gift voucher to buy my sister some skincare, so I did that. Then I had a quick browse, and this was one of the things I found. It's a lovely oversized shirt. It's a really good fit. I wear it so often at the moment, just like under another layer so that I'm like building up, you know? <laughs> Staying warm. These are three of the four skirts that I have in my wardrobe at the moment. I have this leopard print satiny one from probably Topshop. And then, but I got it on Depop actually. Oh my God, Depop is so good. <laughs> and then I have this kind of crinkly crepe. I don't, I don't mean crepe, do I? I don't know, creped? Maybe not skirt from and other stories i love this so much it's actually the only skirt i think i'm going to keep in this zebra one is from mango and it's incredibly spring so i think this will be the one long skirt that stays in let me show you it quickly so you get a feel for it i just love wearing it so much with a black turtleneck can you see that like it's got an under layer and then this like silky one it's so good for all seasons you can pop this on with some boots, you can pop this on with Birkenstocks, it goes with everything. This is like the little black dress for winter to end all little black dresses. This one is velvet. It's actually on sale at the moment in Under the Stories, I will link it below. And it fits me like a glove, it's amazing. It's got long sleeves so it keeps you warm and it's a short skirt but it's perfectly good with tights. Okay, now we're on to jumpers. So jumpers are where I have a problem. I'm not ashamed to admit that I own more jumpers than the average person. That's something that makes me very happy, but this is slightly ridiculous. I should probably put some of the thinner ones away. Definitely staying in is another new piece. This is from Arquette, and I've been really like wanting a V-neck jumper, just because they look so good with polo necks, with t-shirts, and just by themselves. You can dress them up and down, such a big fan. And I really love this green colour. This kind of sage, it's just beautiful. Our cat tends to come up quite big on me, so I went for a small in this and it's still oversized. So that's definitely going back in. Another one that is getting a load of wear is this Uniqlo um, high neck, roll neck. It's so good. It's a slim fit, so it can tuck into stuff really, really easily. Fingers crossed sweater, a classic, does not get old. This one can stay. I think this one's a little bit summery because it's so cropped. I think maybe it goes into storage. This is just a grey jumper from weekday. I really like it. It's very like basic. Maybe it's more of gym wear now. Like I don't really wear this unless I'm actually going to the gym. Maybe I put it in the gym part of my wardrobe. Mm, this knit's a little bit thin for winter. I do love it though. It's Brandy Melville from years ago. This salt and pepper knit, it's very thin. I think I'm gonna put that in storage because I don't wear it while it's this cold. <laughs> Another one that I think will go into storage. This is the Everlane Cashmere knit. Adore it, very thin though. I don't really wear thin knits in this kind of weather. Everyone knows this one. This is my favorite from last year. 
it's under the stories this gorgeous oversized jumper in this kind of neutral camel cool camel color i don't know but it's huge it's wonderful yeah you're staying in well this guy's hard i actually get a lot of wear out of this still it's from mango last last spring and i really like it but it could probably do with a break maybe a dry clean to be totally honest i think if i wash it it will shrink and as everyone knows this is the jumper of this year that i have not stopped wearing it is from arquette it is this amazing neutral beige i think i showed it in my autumn haul i'm pretty sure oh, can't speak more highly of this jumper it has been a dream it's oversized as heck it's like a really thin rib it's so cute oh this calvin klein jumper i got loads of use out of in autumn but actually in winter i haven't been wearing it as much just a heads up all of my sound is about to die so that's good final two jumpers really fast and then i'll probably switch to a different microphone oh my god what is my life or i'll just go out and buy batteries because i'm a good well-behaved girl is this amazing one from again brandy melville i bought it quite recently and it's this fisherman knit. It's like the old American Apparel uh, fisherman jumpers, if you remember those. I love it, it gets loads of wear. Pop little um, polar necks on. Hello, it is only like 15 minutes later. I just had a big panic and ran around my whole house because I couldn't find my um, SD card reader. Turns out it was in my handbag. <laughs> oh dear. What a kerfuffle. The light is going, it is late in the bloody day, but we are gonna get this done. Ah, why am I so stressed? <laughs> so this drawer, I think I mentioned before, but there are trousers in here and there is gym wear as well, but I won't really go through gym wear. I don't count that as part of my wardrobe particularly. I have like two sets of gym wear, so we're not gonna stress about that. Onto these amazing trousers. I can't remember if I got these for autumn or if I just got them for winter but they are these amazing satin trousers. I think they might actually be silk. They are from uh, Arquette and they are oh, my absolute favorites. They're perfect like dressy loungewear, that classic, I wanna go out but I wanna wear my pajamas. They're good for events, they're good for all of that good stuff. So I have not been able to wear this skirt. It is very long as you might be able to tell and while I love it, it has been raining recently. When it rains, it is really hard to wear this skirt. I think maybe I'll just pray for less rain. We have had so much rain this winter. The second skirt, well, this is the last skirt and I'm definitely keeping this out. Is this cute one here. This is from Under the Stories. I got it tailored in autumn. And you know what? I wear it all the time with tights. A really good one. I love it. Also, my two pairs of Levi's have been having a lot of wear this winter. They're this kind of proper jean color. These ones are the Crop 501s. I really love them. Oh, you can see they're kind of folded. Next, we have some trousers that again, because it's been raining, I really haven't been wearing much light denim. I'm a bit scared for it. These are from Weekday. They are the Row, I believe, the Row Jean. Yeah, the Row Jean. And they are, they make me look very, very wide. As you can tell, I'm having a bit of a body crisis at the moment. I'm trying to be fit and healthy and trying to frame it positively, but I am a little bit insecure. And that's fine. We all have our ups and our downs, like periods with our body. And it just, I think it's because of winter and all the layers and like, I'm constantly swamped and I really feel like jeans can sometimes bring out the worst in what I think about my body. Cause I'm quite differently proportioned and it does make me think about it a lot. So these jeans haven't had as much wear just because they are white, basically they're a cream color, but you know what, I'll keep them in and when it's dry, I'll try and wear them more. Ha ha, my skinny, skinny jeans. These are the MIH jeans that I have. They are my other pair of sustainable denim. They're a really great brand. I got them in Liberty. They are one of the most expensive purchases I've made. I think they were 260 pounds. Oh, stab in the gut. But they are um, a kind of slight loose taper at the ankle, but generally a skinny jean. They are the daily jean, high rise straight and they come not that high rise, but they are very good. They are a great everyday jean. I really do love them. And again, you get what you pay for with denim and you really get high quality with these. They are so resilient. The zips are better, the buttons are better. Everything is just good. Okay, I've already seen something that needs to go in the cupboard. These amazing rust trousers that I, oh, I love these. Oh, I love these. They are so, so cute in summer, but they are definitely spring and summer wear. They're not really, appropriate for winter they're not thick enough here are the other levi's i was talking about absolutely in love with them definitely staying these are the rib cage i need to give them a wash actually and then i think they'll be perfect but right now they're a little long these are genuinely some of my favorite trousers that have come into my life these are from our cat these are a velvet very like loose legged trouser but i wouldn't say like 
palazzo just or flared just like loose and they come to the floor there like oh I love them I've worn them so much over Christmas specifically they were perfect for Christmas parties love you love you trousers these are the BDG mum jeans from Urban Outfitters and they are in this what is what is this <laughs> in this corduroy in a cream color like a pinky cream I love these they are quite skinny on me because I have a big bottom and they are cropped at the ends so cute definitely enjoying these at the moment definitely going back in the wardrobe and finally do you see what I mean I've really gained a lot of trousers these are the Everlane curve fit uh, I think they're called like the work pant they are in this I don't even know what this is like my brain. I'm so sorry guys. <laughs> it's hit that part of the day where I could really do with some caffeine. They come cropped at the ankle. They are tight all the way down pretty much, but they fit my body. Oh, so grateful for it. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 pairs of trousers. This is no longer a capsule wardrobe. I'm going to pop all of these in. Then we're going to go to shoes and maybe have a quick flick through the coat so you can actually see what coats that I do wear on the regular. Right, okay, cool, cool. I'm going to pull this away. Then the wardrobe will be nice and clear, put these things under my bed, and then we'll have a look at my shoes. Okay, before we end this, I always forget to show it, so I thought I should show my shoes, because I just forget they're part of a capsule wardrobe. I don't really change them out too much, they kind of live under, just in my like shoe rack. I'm gonna start changing them out more because I'm a big adult. So, <laughs> this is obviously not including heels, because I have about four pairs of heels, they are dressy, I do not wear them every day. Okay, so my first pair of shoes are my Chelsea boots from Doc Martin. They are, I believe, the vegan cherry ones. I love these. I wear these not too often because they actually, I find them so hard to break in. They've only just broken in. I've had them for about a year now, maybe longer. They have been really hard to break in. So they don't get all that much wear which is sad. I wear them like every two weeks. My second and final pair of boots are here. These are my Everlane Boss boots. I think they're wonderful. They are quite a low, um, low ankle and they have a small heel. They are pointed, which is very nice. They make me feel like a boss, what can I say? I do find them to be a little bit plain at the moment. I want some more interesting shoes because a lot of what I wear is very basic, very plain, but they are very good with just plain black jeans. Otherwise, I don't really wear them all that much. Oh, and with, um, with my little skirt. I do like them with a skirt. I'm also showing you my shoes in the exact state that they are in my cupboard at the moment. Some people are super organized. They clean their shoes every three months. They clean their shoes as soon as they wear them. I'm not that guy because I am a fucking Pisces. I am so forgetful. I never remember to clean my shoes. They get once a year, a big old wash, and then all the other time they just look like they look. And on that dirty topic are my everyday, very everyday shoes. These are what I will walk to the pub in, these are what I will walk to my shop in. These are the Adidas Magmas. I got them sometime last year. They really do need to clean, these are disgusting. But they are so comfy. They make your feet feel like you're walking on clouds. And then we have my Converse. These are a relatively new addition, but boy, do they get a lot of wear. I think these are my current favorite pair of shoes because I can put them with jeans, I can put them with skirts, I can put them with anything. And they're like a perfect like, wintry but not wintry they'll, they'll go in all seasons i think they're so cute they're parchment color i'll link them below as per but yeah next are some shoes i should really put away until summer because they are not very wintry and they are destroyed they are my vages they went to festivals with me in summer they've been everywhere and i do still wear them a lot in winter they are just quite wrecked they i didn't have any problems breaking these in some people are like they're so uncomfy I did not find that at all. If you don't know, Veja is a sustainable brand. They do great shoes and I am a really big fan. They're cracking a bit here though, but they are like super good. Do you remember when I said in my autumn haul that I bought these shoes and I wasn't sure whether to return them? Nearly everyone told me to return them and guess what? You were fucking right. <laughs> The little bitch in me kept them and look, I like them. Don't get me wrong, I do like them. But I feel like they're almost too young for me now, which is so dumb, I'm 24. But they feel a little bit young, a little bit too chunky trainery, a little bit cliched. I do wear them, but they squish my toe in a particular spot they've started creasing, like on here-ish, and it honestly destroys one of my big toes. And it's really annoying, so I can't wear them if I'm walking anywhere particularly large. And I don't know how to fix that problem. How do you change where something creases? But yeah, I do wear them at least every week. I do like them, but I am kind of like, that was a foolish purchase loose. When people tell you return them, listen to the audience. 
you guys know and they are nice I think I'll like them more in summer I think they're just hard to wear in winter the only other pair of shoes I have that I haven't worn this winter so far are a pair of Doc Martens they're under my bed and they're not very comfy so I tend not to reach for them but at the moment I'm really tempted to because I'm getting so much more wear out of my Chelsea boots at the moment I also might just get a pair of those massive chunky Chelsea boots because I think they're so cute and they go with everything and they're just so nice. So I'm thinking maybe bringing the Doc Martens back out but I just, it's been two years and they haven't broken in and I'm almost angry at them. <laughs> okay let's move on to coats. So you know how I said that I was gutted that the feelers didn't really work out for me as a purchase last autumn? This coat is amazing and I still love it. Unfortunately because it's been raining so so much I haven't really had a lot of opportunities to wear it because I just want to wear it in, like all the time in the evenings I just think it's so cool but when it's pissing it down you can't really wear like a fur it just looks really ugly you just don't want to damage it basically and it was quite spenny um, but I still love it I think this is the best coat ever this is a coat I'm kind of waiting to replace it's quite well worn now I really hammered it like last year and um, it's from Zara it doesn't even have a lining it's cheap it's cheap as chips and I'm a bit disappointed in myself that I bought it at the time, but it served a purpose and it still serves a purpose now. It is a perfect neutral colour coat just for everyday errands. It's not very thick, but it does the job. I wanna say sometimes on the high street, things are so good, you get such good value for what you pay and you kind of do play roulette with the high street. You just have to know what to look out for. And when I bought this, I didn't really know what to look out for. I just impulse bought it. I shouldn't have done it. So while I'm not the biggest fan of this coat now, I would say that you can find really amazing things in Zara, you can find really good things on the high street. Don't let me put you off because it's just this guy, it's just not great. This coat is my absolute favourite. It's really a jacket, it's a corduroy jacket, it's from weekday. I got it last year, it's my whole life. It has been dry cleaned, would you believe it, but it is still a bit dirty now on the inside. And it has these huge pockets, you can put everything in them. I love this jacket, I wear it so much. At the moment, jacket wise, there's two things I really, really want. And one of them's a puffer, like a proper puffer jacket. I think they're so cool. And the other one is a trench coat for kind of spring, autumn, summertime. So like a light trench coat. And I've been on the hunt for that for however long. You can find it in my old videos. I just feel like I'm obsessed with finding this trench coat. Okay, I'm not gonna put this on because you can kind of see what it looks like and I've got so many photos in it. But this is my Reigns jacket. It's just a thin rain jacket. I don't wear it too much in winter because it's not got anything to it, but in spring and autumn, I rinse this. No pun intended. Next we have the weekday jacket. This jacket has done me so well. I got this when I was in uni. It is just a very oversized, I wouldn't even necessarily say blazer-esque jacket, but this area does look kind of blazery. And it's in black, it's from weekday. It comes very low on, on the leg, you know, like past your knee. It's so good. I still wear this so much. And finally, I struggle with this one. You'll see kind of why when I put it on. This, oh my God, it doesn't even work with this jumper. This is a, like a thin puffer. This is from Everlane. It's a really thin kind of puffery jacket. It's a bit like um, ones you get in Uniqlo. And it has this like, slightly higher neck. I don't even know if it's going to go up because my jump is so thick, but <gasps> go on. Oh, that's quite tight. It's this guy. I think it's the coolest looking thing in the world, but it does, like I do struggle to wear it just because it comes at a certain point on my hips where it hits them at a funny angle. I don't know. It's just like, if it hit like here, it would be better for me. But because it hits here, it doesn't quite fit my hips. So I kind of wear it like this. I don't get much wear out of it and I wish there was a better time to. I'm gonna bring it skiing though, because I think it's gonna be so warm. I'm already roasting. The white with the black details is so cool. We have been filming this for quite a while. It is about to get dark. But you know what? I thought it was important that I show you everything I have. If you would like a proper try-on haul of all of my new bits, I haven't actually got that many. I think I've got like six new bits in my wardrobe from since autumn. Let me know. I'll make that ASAP as soon as I'm home. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in my next video.